What's up guys, my name is Sam World and today we're looking at a brand new expansion to the Deceiver series called Domination. Now the Deceiver series over the past few years has helped countless of artists like John Summit, Mao P, uh, Disco Lions, Biscuits, West End, James Hype make amazing music that has stood the test of time. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the newest addition to it, which is here to provide you guys with some of the thickest sounds and some of the thickest drum sample. So here I have just a little loop going. Okay, just so that we can preview some of the bass lines that we're getting in the sound bank as Deceiver has always been known for the Serum presets and the samples, but now I want to make the samples a bigger, a bigger, bigger, bigger part of it. So let's get into it. The first one we have here is called TDMO. Now in this one, I acquired this nice acid emulation synthesizer from Behringer called the TD3MO. Let's sample that and see what we get. So let's generate a little baseline here with Acidgen and just hear. Now we can lower everything. And you can see there's a difference, right? A different vibe to it. But this is one of my favorite patches in the pack just because I'm combining digital with analog, which is my goal and moving forward with every sample pack, every tool set that I provide for you guys. Because again, if you succeed, I succeed. And that's the most important thing because you're going to recommend, you're going to use, they're going to see you and your followers, your fans are going to be like, I want to use what he is using. Going to be the next James Hype, bro. All right, let's get keep going. So here we have one called 399 Club. Okay, this one's uh, going to be obviously inspired by Chris Lake. Now this pack is all, all inspired by producers that sound thick. Okay, Sosa. Okay, it was a huge one. Uh, Chris Lorenzo, Chris Lake, the anti-op. They started the reason, they're the reason I started this pack because I heard their stuff and I was like, man, like it just sounds different. Um, it has more flavor, more character to it. So again, a little harder to emulate, but I was up for the challenge. Ooh. Let's cut out some of the highs. But if you like that, leave it. But I'm still kind of clean. Let's bring in the perks. Look at the way the clap, the character of that. That was my goal with this pack. Every drum in this pack, character is what I want. Character. I'm tired of clean. I'm tired of the same stuff being shilled around. We took it up a notch here. Okay, so let's keep going. I don't know what this is. Let's get rid of the perk. Nasty square base, okay? Begging for more, baby. Okay, so a long time ago, I made this pack called Dirty Chicken a long time ago, which didn't, it did okay, but it didn't do as good as the Deceiver has. But there's so many people that I always get messages that tell me that that pack is their favorite and they've been using it to make just the kind of tech house they want. So this base is inspired by that uh, because there was this base in there that everyone started using back in like 2018, 2017, where... It pitches down like crazy. Look at that. So now, the cool thing is, with every preset that I make, I put mods. Not having mods that do something to the sound is a disservice to the customer, a disservice to the clientele. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a producer making sounds for producers. I'm a sound designer making sounds for producers. And I want you guys to get the best always because, again, your success is my success in this relationship. So can move this like i'm just hitting these two chain up <laughs> i use the keyboard every time i jab man uh but again you know it's super cool we can increase the mod which is nice for the break so if we remove this look at that Let's add some FM. Move the pitch. <laughs> so dope, isn't it? From here, we have one called BA Black Reese. Thick Reese, baby. The sounds damn well, like big, dude. And again, this is meant to be a bass, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Here's another one that has to land on the beat. So this one you have to use with kick and bass inspired by Omnom, Odd Mob. There's a lot of sounds inspired by them as well. I don't think they sound as thick as the rest, but they have wild ideas and they're not afraid to push the boundary. So um, I respect them enough to add them as my one of the big references for this expansion for Deceiver. Or... Bite that thing, bro. Use a sustain if you want. For the break, let's do it. You take it up, bro. Take it up. Don't be scared. And then I wish I could drop it fast, but it, and again, someone can do that, man. So keep going. Here's one. This one's inspired by Wade. Wade's another guy we looked at. Sosa, Wade. Wade's been using a lot of the Deceiver stuff as well. Um, he made some of his best songs recently using it, the knock basses. Um, but we were looking at them. So Wade had this song called Hurricane where he had this nasty saw. On this one, I had to break some of my rules because if we go into the effects section, we have the OTT on that. So what I did, because again, you know, like I want the best for you guys. I want you guys to sound good every single time. Okay, if you use evil sounds, you sound good. I don't want you guys sounding like turd or thin. So we separate the low end, the sub, away from this guy because we're using OTT. OTT ruins the integrity of our low end the moment we put that on. But you can always add that direct sub out. And then you get that really nasty top tone on the bass. Okay, so if we put that with a kick. Okay. Get rid of the top. There we go. You could also wub it. And you can also do this. <laughs> I gotta get better at that. All right. Okay, now. Nah. Okay. Also, Martin Aiken, <laughs> I, I got a lot of his songs, but Martin Aiken, one of the guys I respect. Again, I respect most artists, um, but I respect this guy because he hit me up on probably like, I want to say last year. And he was like, yo, so I, I checked out the Seaver 4 or 5. It was one of those. And he was like, I saw that you remade one of my sounds. And, and then he just gave me the backstory to the sound. They ended up renting a Jupiter. Right. And in that Jupiter, they found the patch that he used for, duh, 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 you know, for a lot of his songs that he has where he has a square. So he was like, yeah, you, but you nailed it, bro. And like now I've taken out all your stuff and I'm using it in all my upcoming releases. So this was a while back. So, um, yeah, like that's the reason I respect Ikin, because he also said, like, I offered to give him some promos, but he was like, no, I'm going to buy it. I want to support you. So usually DJs will accept or they will ask me. But when you get someone like Ikin that's up there and he wants to support that way, you're in my respect by a tenfold because they understand how it is, right? Um, I have to eat. So props to Ikin. We referenced him a lot as well. This one's dirt because he's into that UK stuff right now. So Okay, cool stuff there. Here we have Dalla Hose, okay? Dom Dalla, not not so thick sounding, but it's still good. He has good songs, but throughout this whole pack, it would get to a point where I'd be like, okay, what other sounds can I add? So I added a couple of offbeat basses. This one's going to be one of them. Okay, everything's set up for you to succeed with it. So my plan with this offbeat bass is, again, all you have to do is level and pick a kick that makes sense with it, okay? That's my goal with it. And of course... You got these nice mods for transitions. Going. Hell yeah. You got more of these. Salsa inspired. Salsa UK, man. Every song Lorenzo has is thick, man. He has a call out with AC Slater. Thick, 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 thick. The guy knows what he's doing. Okay. And he has yet to make a tutorial for us. <laughs> so so we, we are trying, okay? All right, and during that trying. Okay. 
Use the mods. Use the mods. I don't have. To, I hope I don't keep repeating that. Here's another one. You already know what that's for, bro. So let's. Why don't we add this? Just fill it out a bit. Hey, I just want to go tell the hood that if you don't like it, they're going to love it. That's sick. Reason? Bro, it's probably one of the fattest bases in the pack. Here we have one of the nastiest knocks I've made. Now, again, this is because it's controlled. Um, sounds good. And I don't know who left field is, but someone requested it. Cause a lot of times what I do is I'll go on live streams, still a bit of trust to, for you guys to see the process, but also know I'm not getting sold renamed shit and sh thin stuff to be exact. Thin is the enemy. It's your hard earned money. Here's another offbeat. Sean mob. What song is that? We know. Here's a. Uh, Max Styler rolling bass. Let's fucking go, man. Here's some sub 37 basses. Essentially sampled a long saw from my sub 37, which is right here, and just used it as a starting point. Let's not do that though. Let's right now it's set up as an 808 knock. So if we were to do that, it'd be something like this. Watch. Hit the D. Bring it up to like, uh, let's try like G or F sharp. Move this back. And let's elongate these notes a bit. Not the one that is here. Mm -hmm. Punch it. You can also wub it. Pull it down. Let's go check it. So three-dimensional bass, rather than just always hitting the one, you can do a lot of fancy stuff. Here's another one, just different programming. What's up, guys? My name is Sam World. And today we're looking at a brand new expansion to the Deceiver And we got the square action. Domination. Now, Deceiver has already been used. Been used. Now, Deceiver has already... And we wub it. Punch him on. Get crazy, bro. Ooh, that's too much. But mod up. Simpler. We have a monster. We gotta take off the kickstart though. Ooh, mod. Nice. Yeah, these are hard, man. And soft. <laughs> uh huh. We didn't discriminate. Oh, this one's insane. People go crazy for this. Check it. Between us. Between us. Between me and you. Bring this up. Just like that. In the demo. <laughs> mm, yeah, just it's this one. Bring this up. There you go, bro. You got it. <laughs> Took it, man. Took it. You got some effects. Ooh. For the next anthem, bro. I mean, this is like the <laughs> Dominator, man. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. Ooh. You already know how it is. Now we get to the lead portion of the pack. The lead portions is 
going to be very stacked. There's a lot of different kinds of leads, which we're going to go through, but check them out. <laughs> we had the after effect. Oof. A lot of your candy opportunities. Probably one of the nastiest sounds. Just, just as vibes, bro. Oh yeah, pimping. Get wild, bro. Get wild. And the module up on that. There's a lot of scream. Oh. Chromatic, bro. I forget the song it's from, but it's so nice. One. It's all about the tone with these saws. What makes them different? The boost. That boost right there. It's not thick, but it tickles the ears, right? It sounds dirty because of it. Bring it up. Oh, yeah. We brought it back. These nice perky leads. Bawa! We don't have to do it like that either. Just play it. I did say we were inspired by Chris Lorenzo, okay? Good variations. Oh, yeah. It's one of those ravey leads. Oh, yeah. Gets nasty. <gasps> what? Oh, my. Oh. What? Insane, bro. Woof. Deep throat lead. Just play like a nasty melody with that. Ah, uh, this is my favorite lead from the pack. I'm an EDM guy. I, I started like in 2010, 20 EDM, bro. But this lead, so fat. It's fat, but it has the neural vibe to it. Usually, neural vibes, you'll hear the lead. It's thin as shit. Makes people sound bad. You guys saw. But um, look, look at the body. Oh my lord. Insane. Someone messaged me like, you need more of these kind of leads. So I was like, all right, let's add it. Cranking house. Just very hard leads. Hard. Very for nasty, nasty house. You already know. More of these little sequences. Someone said they wanted them. This is the lead from the set, the track. Let me be your fantasy in the demo. Remember, you can play with it. And there's scream filter on that. There's a little <laughs> acid lead with a white layer that's percussive. Lorenzo. 
Lorenzo, Chris, right here. Let's do Swedish house mafia vibes. Okay, here's one of those neural leads. <laughs> Experimental. What? The? Danger. <laughs> Again, those shots that you're starting to hear in odd mobs, breakdowns, anti ups, like they're here. Oh, this one's dope. Just need a bass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I said, uh, we got inspired from everywhere, so I did look at Tech House Operator, and there was a track on here. I don't know if it's still up there from uh, Low Step, but banger. Had to do that. Dude. Ear candy moments. Noise inspired sound. You can punch it. Yeah. Phasing sound, but it's done on purpose. Woo! I might have been out in your streets and I heard you, you guys want some of these. You know we get hard here, bro. <laughs> Phlegmatic dogs. They're an old school like bass house group. I think this was my attempt at doing one of their sounds. Matroda. <laughs> I'm not Matroda though. <laughs> this is a piano staff sample from a Corgam one, by the way. So I have the tools, I do that, and then I layer it with like synths and stuff from Serum and add that unique touch. There you Let me get there. Oh yeah. EDM. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so again, there's a lot of leads in this pack. There's a few more to go. And they're they're like mixed up with the wubs. You guys saw that in the page. Oh, you guys know where this is from? From his black book release. Thomas knew someone thick. I like this one. Someone needs to use it in a song. When are we gonna infuse funk with house? I think I'm losing control. You know. <laughs> Clooney. The fattest square pluck around. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I just brawl. <laughs> Stat C E or is it C E D sharp? This keeps playing. Oh, that's nasty. Bro. Now, the second pack of Dominations is going to include a sample pack where you're going to find vocal loops. Now, for the vocal loops, we have like probably three or four AI ones, but everything else is human certified, which means is that we were... Who am I? Turn up the heat. 
Turn up the volume. This is what we do. Take me on a trip. Take me on a trip. I want to go somewhere. Take me there. Take me there. Oh girl, you look so swell. Set this house on fire. The speed goes round and round. Set this place on fire. Satisfaction. All night long. That's me with Ultra Boy. Satisfaction. <laughs> Turn that up. Release the pressure. Release the mind. Oh, you know where it's inspired from. <laughs> Pop the magic tail. Pop them everywhere I go. We're going back to the old school. We're y'all. Have y'all got any hoes up in this bitch? Again, do me a favor now. Hopefully, no kids are watching this. Point them out. Point them out. Point them out. I That's no joke. Let me be your fantasy. Put this on my Instagram and oh my god, you need. this beat I made for the demo, like, I think it was like 113 likes, bro, on a story on Instagram. It's insane. Ice cream makes me horny and wet. Hoes, bitches, shake your ass. Ah, uh, so again, there's going to be vocals. Satisfaction. All, All night long. Satisfaction. Turn that up. up. Some of them are very, very ravey and stuff. From there, there's going to be symptoms as well. Now, everything in this pack has been done in a way where, you know, like it's meant to be systematic to help you make the music you want. It's meant to be supplemental. It's meant to fill in the gaps, help you finish the last 20% of your music. For example, let's say I have this. Now, the way that I would use the synth loops in this pack is I would go in. I don't care about the key. In fact, if it's not in key, it's even better. So let's say I'll have this. I'll start with the first one, right? So I'll be like, okay, cool. Let's do that. We're in F minor. Uh, this one's in uh, D, right? So I have to move this down by one, two, three. But I can also go up by nine. Delete that. Now let's put that where it needs to go. Nine. Gives us a different vibe than going minus three. From there, learn to use your tools because from here, we can turn this off and make it more percussive. And then we have that last call. So maybe you might need something like that. All right, let's go minus three on that. Okay, from there, if you know your DAW, right, you know you can one eight and do this. All right. So a lot of these synth loops are going to be the result of sound design mud pies that's what i call them where i'll work, i'll be playing on a synth and then i'll run effects and stuff and we'll create dope stuff with them some of them are going to be more like obviously like written but i hope this is the way that you're using the synth loops that you're going to get the most bang for buck that way so for but that being said we'll go first one <laughs> we have the walker and royce one here this one's super cool used it a lot in, uh, in the demo to take out certain stuff from it. This little sound at the end, people went crazy for as well on Instagram. Like, they love it. From there, we have Stingray. This is actually the Moog Sub 37. Bro, I'm just moving the knob. I'm literally moving. So, again, same thing can happen. You can go minus three or nine. And you can see the, the vibes completely change because now I can go singular. Ooh. We have one called Snake Griffin. Oh. Mm, right? So we keep going. I borrowed an MS-20 from my friend, so some of these are from the MS-20, and I, I'm going to get a real one, because that one was a mini, but the full ass, bro, I think it sounds nasty. And again, getting them to provide sounds for you guys. To flip. This is a matrix. Sounds super dope. Again, use as you need. This one's made with linear. Mog matrix. La Llorona. Again. This one's dirty. It's dirty because there's this plugin that I use for it. So, you know, I want to get pedals eventually, invest in that so I can provide you guys with better samples. But for now, these these like wannabe pedals will do. This one's interesting because I haven't found a plugin that allows you to distort the reverb before and after you um, it's applied. So 
that's how that one came to be. So again, a lot of this stuff is just experimentation and whatever I think sounds dope and people can flip into dope stuff. That's the way. Okay. A lot of the demos that we made for this pack, it's not even the serum presets. It's it's this stuff here, the synth loops just reworked, right? You grab, you start, you chop like Dahmer, you get going. There's some cool ones in here. That may be your fantasy. Uh, that may be that one, two, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, from there we do have an effect section. Vocal atmospheres were made. Yeah, got the uplifters, again, sounding good, unique. This one's dope. It goes all the way, bro. <laughs> I don't know how long that one is, but that's probably half the damn like pack right there in the, when you download it. This one's a certain one. Woo! So again, this is gonna be a lot. Oh my god. Chill out, Sen. So again, all of these uplifters, we're risking it. What that means is you guys already have the basic ones, right? So what's the point of me putting a saw uplifter if you already have it? Like everyone has that. So it's always about offering new stuff with each sample pack, pushing boundaries. Look at that. Basic, bro. Just the slide. I don't even have noise ones. I, I made that one and I was like, I don't think they need noise ones. I think they want, they want to risk it. They want to be different. They want to break the norm. They want to push the boundaries, you know? Here's one. This is the sub 37. Sounds a little dull, but. Like I said, there's always going to be that one person with that one track. And I'm like, I know he's it's going to fit. And he's like, hell yeah. I've been looking for this for a minute, bro. Mm. That's the profit. The profit helped me make a lot of like three dimensional effects because it has. Um, and by the way, it's this one right here. It has essentially like a, a b layer similar to silence so you can create two layers of a sound so this one is one of the one of the layers is a is um is noise and the other one is the effect of, and this one the lights and then Sala. Mm. Just hear the, 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 so, so people, again, you're always going to debate, debate analog versus digital. I hear the difference. I don't know if you guys can, you hear it more in like how rounded certain stuff sounds. That's where you hear it the most and the filters. Okay. Oh, that one hurt my ears. Crashes. You guys know the deal from there. We have drum loops. Now the drum loops were made. And from there we thought, why not just add a couple of drum one shots that come from the drum loops. So. These are going to be more scoped out. So you can drag and drop them in. So we'll, we'll check them out just like this. Okay, you can see we got that there. Okay, so we can burn. Bro, I'm, I'm not, I'm EQing these weird, here. Oh, you love mama. Vamos, vamos, papi. Let's keep going. Okay. So the top loops, these ones came after everything was done, mainly because, I mean, some people are going to want, want them, but if you're making the type of house music that dominator is assigned for 
you're not going to be using a lot of this top loop stuff. These are just, again, as a way of like, oh, okay, if you want need to fill stuff up. The section that you should be using is everything below this, which it might not be newbie friendly, but it will guarantee you sound thick and really good. Guaranteed. Okay. For instance, right now I have a kick loop. Okay. Now clap. Okay. There's a lot of character in these claps. Lots of character. Okay. So if you're layering these claps with like loops and stuff, then then <laughs> you're shooting yourself. Okay. Just leave. Like this should carry you. This will carry you. Look at that. If you layer this clap, you lose all the flavor. When have you heard a clap like that? Never, because I made that for you guys using the Percons. This is why I acquired these drum machines, just to get my mind out of the digital space. This is a lot, a lot of character. The problem, though, is some people will hear that and go, I got to layer, layer. But have the confidence to just do that. Put a drum loop. You know, and like flow you know you don't need 60 channels in a song when you're using good stuff and you know what you want so with that clap probably use something like this and now let's get the open hat right Okay, this one's a nice one. This is from the Alpha Bass. Alpha Bass is another drum machine that's very well known in the community of, um, again, people that acquire gear. As a sound designer, I wanted to scope and look at that community and go, how can I provide my customers, my producers with this sound that they, these guys use, but don't really do too much with. So this is why I did what I did. It has these nice filters and it adds so much to the flavor. All right. Just, dude, I just want like a nice vocal on the top. A hip hop vocal. Just, just That's all you really need. Close hats as well. So if you wanted to use these, again, the, the whole pack's not meant for you to go snare loops. But, but no, it's meant for you to switch and mash. And when you have enough, you have enough. So if you want this, that's fine. But maybe this would be better. Look at that. Clean, crystal, straight in your face. Nothing messy, nothing messy, nothing messy. Okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Hmm, Joe Marks one. This one's character. Some of you guys I know are like, <laughs> there's that hat. <laughs> there it is, bro. Uh, let me see the pulse. Dude, some of these go crazy, though. So you can see the mythology behind this fact. There is some thought, there's some reasoning into this. It's not about thinning out the loops or making more loops to sell this at a higher price. No, it's that as a sound designer and producer, okay, I know what it takes to sound good and, and look good, and which is more important to me for you guys, because if you sound good, you're going to come back and buy more stuff. I know that. So that is why we have it set up like this. You have control. Don't abuse it. Risk it a bit. Look at that one. That one's, that one's, mm. Bring it up. EQ it if you want. Do that. <laughs> That's alpha bass right there. But watch how I'm just going and going and and I already sound different than most people because I'm not I don't have the same drums as they do. I mean that's Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, icing on the cake. Ugh. 
There's some very scoped out ones still. Check it, check it. Shaking, bro. Okay, so here are some of the kicks. The ones that say silver, it's the RD9, which is the Behringer clone of the 909. The ones that say blue, or that are more knockier, is the Percons, which is the blue Danda. And then I also made some with kick two from uh i believe it's um sonic academy who wants to sound like Knox? it's like straight up matt sasari vibes kick two this is kick two kick two 909 this one's probably one of my favorite ones Alpha base with one of the texture samples it contains inside it. Brain dead. Base loops. Okay, so they're modeled after Walker and Royce, Odd Mob, Chris Leg, Anti Up. So sad, black book recordings. I like this one. Program S20 Mini, baby. I want to get a real one now. I'm like, like, like a big one, bro. Ooh, this is profit, but pushed. It works. Might be a little too noisy, so I'll probably fix that before the pack comes out by applying a gate. Wait up, wait up, wait up. I think with some military snares. Give me a kick, give me a kick. One of the blue ones. A lot of people like this one. This is the one with, let me be your fantasy. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Seaver Dominator edition with me. If you guys want to support the channel, this is the best way to do it. You guys get amazing sounds in return and you help me keep going, making tutorials and shorts for you guys to help you guys with your musical journey. Dominator was created again. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the Seaver Dominator edition for me. Again, it was made for you to stand out. It was made for you to go to systematically every single time that you need thickness, every single time that you want to stand out from the rest, every single time where you just want a bit of excitement in the studio, you can reach for it and you're gonna find a lot of sounds that might work with others, but I guarantee you that these will always pop out. But that being said, if you guys wanna support the channel, this is the best way to do it. You guys supporting these sound banks so helps me keep going and making these sounds for you, but most importantly, teaching you guys and helping you guys reach your musical goals. That being said, this has been the Seaver Dominator Edition. I hope you guys have fun with it. Much love and you guys take care.